Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris and I am your host. I'm speaking with George Strait, uh, an outstanding uh, person who's done all kinds of stuff, including ABC News. Uh, but George, let's talk for a moment about your involvement in community activities. I know for a fact that you were um, the uh, former regional Sarakon, like regional president mm -hmm. of Sigma Pi Phi fraternity. Tell us about that. Well, Sigma Pi Phi fraternity is the oldest uh, Greek-lettered uh, fraternity, uh, African-American fraternity in the country. Founded in when? 1904? 1904. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. See, I, was, I know something about it. <laughs> see, I, I led the fraternity, but just in this region, just sort of, you know, west of the, of, of the Rockies, Bob led the fraternity completely. He was the sire for, uh, I guess, maybe about 10 years ago. Yes, uh, and he was a—he uh, actually—he actually helped me an, an awful lot in the fraternity because uh, the fraternity for a long time was secret because it had to be, and as it began to let everybody else know about it, mainly because it should. The Sigma Pi Phi, uh, its members are are the descendants of the Talented Tenth. Uh, that's how we see ourselves. Uh, every single famous African-American man that you can think of uh, was, was probably a member or is a member of Sigma Pi Phi, um, whether it's W.E.B. Du Bois or... Uh, or Martin Luther King, Martin Jr. Luther King yeah. Jr. Or Carter G. Woodson. Car <laughs> Carter G. Woodson, that's, or Robert L. Harris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not anything, but... <laughs> so so yeah. it's, it, is, it, is a, it is a group of, of accomplished African-American men. And we not only have a story to tell, but we have a responsibility to serve. And uh, one, of, one of our tenets is to get to know the best of one another as a means to an end. And that end is that we can do much more collectively than we can do individually for our community. And that's, that, that, that's what we do. And that's important. Uh, George, before we, uh, and we run out of time, but could you give us a final pitch on why it is important for blacks to be uh, adequately represented in the media? Fortunately or unfortunately, the way the world is seen is through the, is through the media. Uh, and with so many more media outlets now, whether it's Twitter or, or, or cable, whatever, it's, it's vitally important that we become involved in it not just be passive recipients of that information, but involved in an active way to make sure that what is told, what is seen by others, is a true representation of who we are. Well, that's a, <laughs> a concise statement, which uh, I appreciate uh, very much. You know, we have been able to cover, uh, I think, in a very short period of time, a lot of uh, important information but I continue to be intrigued with uh, when I used to turn on television and see George Strait, ABC News. Uh, finally, George, uh, uh, do you think that blacks really ought to make a more uh, uh, aggressive uh, stance in terms of insistence in being in the media? Uh, I do, and I think we ought to do it in a couple of ways. When I, when I was starting in, actually, for a couple of sort of generations of, of newscasters uh, uh, after me, we focused on being in front of the camera. I remember when we started the Philadelphia uh, Black Journalists Association, which was the precursor to the National Association of Black Journalists, uh, all of us were sort of e either uh, writers who, who, uh, who had columns uh, in newspapers or folks in front of the camera. <clears throat> there, was one, there was one fellow whose name was Ploria Marshall. And uh, Ploria was on the other side. He said, you know what? I'm going to buy radio stations. I'm going to buy television stations. I'm going to control what goes on and also get paid for it. And, 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 and that's the key. Buy a media station. Right. You can control what goes on there. Unfortunately, we have indeed run out of time. But I want you to stay tuned for the next segment of our uh, all about community. We will have uh, George Wood, who is a medical doctor, psychiatrist, and we're going to continue to explore some of these issues. Uh, so don't go away. Don't touch that remote. We will be right back with All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris, and my guest has been 
George Strait, formerly ABC News reporter. Thank you for joining us, George. It's my pleasure, Bob. 